What's up guys? Welcome to Primetime Polton. I'm your host, comic book writer Mark Polton. Today we're here for another unboxing video. This is a figure I've been looking for for quite a while. It's the Masters of the WWE Universe Sting figure. Now when Mattel announced they were doing these um, He-Man mashups with the WWE, I was on board instantly because they announced my man, the Icon Sting, as part of the line. And uh, in case you can't tell, I'm a bit of a Sting collector. I love the guy. He's just so cool. So toyetic. My wife the other day was saying, Oh great, another Sting figure. Don't you have enough? And I said, No, I don't have them all yet. So definitely had to pick this one up when I saw it at Walmart the other day. Uh, I'm going to unbox it. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll videotape the unboxing and I'll go through all the pieces and uh, let's, uh, let's check it out, guys. All right, guys. First things first, uh, let's just check out the packaging. Uh, Sting, he's listed as the mysterious vigilante of vengeance. I kind of hate this whole uh, vigilante uh, term they gave him. I mean, he's the icon Sting, the man called Sting, you know? Um, the, the whole vigilante aspect of introducing him into the WWE was kind of a miss for me, but um, I don't know, still an awesome figure, and I'm glad we have him in the line. Uh, highly articulated for power posing. So we'll flip it over. I really like this artwork. Um, looks like it could be in a comic book. In fact, um, it comes with a collector's booklet, so we'll have to flip through that. And uh, let's see what it says. It says, The dark warrior with a voice of silence and a mission of justice strikes fear into the black heart of the evil force that created him. But whose side is he on? Now we get some uh, a look at his little action that he does. The other wrestlers in the line. Triple H, King of Kings, Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, Finn Balor. These are all good choices, man. They're, they're cool characters. Really toyetic. That Triple H is like the perfect, you know, Skeletor of this line. But, um, enough talking. Let's open this guy up. Alright guys, we're going to open this bad boy up. Um, I'm really excited to check out this booklet that's been included with it. When they first announced this line, uh, my initial thoughts were that these guys really look like the old AWA Remco figures. And uh, I have a, a little bit of a collection of them. Um, at one point, I had them all and I had the ring. Well, I had the first series. I didn't have like the Matt Maniacs ones. But um, I sold them all. Uh, really regret it. But uh, I bought most of them back. Still haven't gotten the ring yet, though. Um, but this figure is really cool. I love the look of him. Reminds me of those Remco figures. Really good detailing on it. This is really cool. Um, he comes with a claw and uh, I guess a scorpion stinger staff. Very cool. I don't know how well this will stand in my display. <laughs> I don't know. He might he might not be keeping these parts on display. I might just put them with all my other miscellaneous parts. He doesn't really hold that too well. Yeah, the other hand's just a fist. So let's check out this book. Really like the artwork on here. I would read this comic book. <laughs> Sting, the mysterious vigilante of vengeance, can blend into the shadows, ability to drop into battle from any distance, foreign objects, scorpion claw, and stinger chucks. It's got a little mini story, and then an advertisement for the rest of the line. So it also came with this little book. I'm going to read the story for you. 
Sting explores the dangerous mountain caves. I must find the secret to the Skull King's lair. When suddenly, hiss, a giant scorpion, one of Triple H's beasts, no doubt. You're no match for my Stinger Splash. Our hero triumphs in his battle. Time to give Triple H a taste of his own poison. This is a really cool figure. Um, what I like about it is that they're sort of on scale to uh, the Remco figures. And to illustrate that, I got Sting's arch rival, the man who made him, the nature boy Ric Flair. This is from the AWA Remco line. These guys are almost perfect. I mean, yeah, you could have, you know, forget the, forget the claws and the, the weird weapons. You know, these guys uh, can, can fight with your Remco guys. I mean, these are perfect. I love it. This will make a nice addition to my Sting collection. And, you know, if you're trying to build up that Remco collection, these guys will work. Um, some of them, some of the figures have a little bit of weird, uh, you know, Masters of the Universe details, like some uh gauntlets on their arms but this thing's perfect man there's uh it's just his wrestling gear so this is a big thumbs up for me uh mattel knocked it out of the park their their wrestling uh wwe line has been awesome and uh the the masters of the wwe un universe is a is a home run man uh this is another cool line uh i'd say it's better than the 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 zombies and the monsters um uh, I'd even say I think I think they're cooler than the retros. Um, I'll get a lot of hate for that, but yeah, man, I really dig this figure. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, hit the subscribe button. We're closing in on 500 subscribers, and hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, guys.